Hello guys, this is Avco and I want to talk about Ancient Ruins Hunt because this actually has some really good rewards. Anything that has diamonds are really good rewards. So as you can see, I made it to number four. And when you compare my power to other people, uh, you know, it's not that great, but it doesn't have to be. There's a trick to actually doing this. And, all, and it all depends on your uh, team composition. I don't understand what they're saying with this. Uh, I didn't, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Because I tried to mess around with my um, team positioning and I didn't get a bonus. The one thing I will say is elements matter and your elemental alignment matters. So when you look at my team, I constructed it like this. There's better constructions, but the reason I compose my team like this is because of single target. Single target is the way to score big on these events. Because, like, someone like Elementalist is good. Good in PvP, but when it comes to single target and PvE content, she sucks. Uh, same thing with, uh, with, uh, where, where is he at? Anubis. Real good unit, but he sucks in, like, PV content with single target. Because his attack is AoE. So you're not getting the maximum effect out of his rage skill when you're using it against, against, like, one unit. So, in certain content, guys like that sucks. This, this, this chick is super awesome. This chick is like the GOAT because her single target DPS is so high. And if you pair her with someone that can put, it, put on Curse, it gets even better. So when you look at heroes, you're looking for heroes that do single target damage. Like Celestial Spear is good because even though she does like AOE damage, her secondary effect actually lets her hit again. So she's hitting twice. And she's also providing healing for you. So you're looking at characters like that. You're looking at characters like Celestial Spear. You're looking at characters like Dragon Princess. You're looking at characters like In the Storm. Single target units that can put on the damage. Um, Monkey King is really good I hate to say it but the more I played Monkey King the more I realized that he was a very sound investment because the thing about Monkey King is he count, he counts as like three attacks it's, he produces clones that attack multiple times so you're getting the most out of his turn every time he initiates at the beginning of the battle so guys like Monkey King are like where it's at. I use her for the simple fact that at higher levels the boss will actually be able to kill your units. So you're going to need a healer and the best healer right now for such content is actually Super Twins. Sadly, <laughs> I hate to say it, but um, she's kind of no good at this uh, content because first of all, she's not doing much damage. Um, Super Twins with their um, with their rage skill actually attacks multiple times. You know, and if they have any any buffs, it's like it's converted. So it, it's kind of weird that it happens that way. And when they and when she and when she dies, which will happen at the higher levels. Yeah, you automatically get a pure attacker for the little time that you have. It's all about burst damage, so. But when you look at this, you have to change your thinking. Like, certain characters are really good and certain characters just suck. If you have fire um, attackers like I did, I had a uh, Dragon Princess on my team. She'll take you pretty far. So it, it lets us know that when, when these challenges come up, that there's certain characters that actually do better than others. 
And keep in mind that certain characters are good at PvP and certain characters are good at PvE content. Like with boss battles, I think uh, Dragon Princess is really worth her weight in gold because she really got me up there. And some someone like um, Sam Wukong is a sign of the future because he can do both. Much like Super Twins, she can do both. So that's my two cents on ancient hunting grounds. If you like my content, hit the like, share, subscribe button. And I always try to explain some of these things to you guys. Because most people think that you just need a lot of money. You're going to get to the top. But uh, you can tell like uh, some of these guys have spent way more money. Like Zoe Cook spent way more money than me. Uh, this guy spent more money than me too. Um, I don't think Arkham. Yeah, Arkham spent more money than me. Hell yeah, you got Valkyrie. You spent more money than me. You got Valkyrie and um, Sun Wukong and Elements. Yeah, you spent more money than me, dude. That's not even... Yeah, you spent more money than me, dude. Yeah, these guys... Yeah. You don't always need money. You can use strategies. So, anyways, have a good one. And later.